ride or die. I keep waving my hand. And this project, I'm going to save a, a nice piece of Paduk that's got some pinholes inside that was from a previous project of mine that I had to duck because of those pinholes. I don't know what they are, they look like worms, but um, I'm going to do out of that a vessel and I'm going to use resin, so I'm going to keep this beautiful piece of Paduk. Hi everybody, thank you for coming back to my channel. On this project, uh, on top of that, that, I'm going to save a piece of Paduk. I put some new features and um, you'll have to follow step by step what I'm doing and I'll show you the features that I'm doing and why I'm doing them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece of Paduk just as a vessel because in the middle there is a lot of pinholes and a lot of waves and I think it, it's, it's like a worm or something and um, the project that it was supposed to be uh, didn't fit to this project so I had no choice but to leave this project get another piece of wood and uh, I made it before so now let's step it first of all I'm doing a, a vessel and I'm using pine cone that I collected in Berlin on my last visit to my family and they are very small pine cones and I'm going to put it in a special order but if you have a look at this at this one, what I've done is, you'll see the mi the middle still there. And you're asking why they then took the core in the middle. And the reason is because I'm going to do two uh, pores of resin. One lighter than the other one. And on the other one, I'm going to put more uh, of a pearl inside. A day later, put it on the lid, and now I'm going to take out the middle, the core, the middle of the of the wood, and uh, you will see uh, exactly how I do it. But why I'm doing it? Only now you will have to stick to the almost the end of the video, and you will see a nice a nice feature that I'm I'm doing. Now, if you have a look at it, you will see that. What I do is I took the core all the way to the middle, a little bit more than the middle uh, of the of the thickness, and now I'm going to do it as a cup. It's not going to be straight. It's I rounded it as a cup, and there is a reason why I rounded it as a cup, and you will see it in the next uh, in the next feature. It's a very interesting, a very interesting. It's a very cute feature. Um, a lot of people will ask themselves how do I get this feature if I didn't show it to you and you will see the second pore is a little bit darker with a lot of um, pearl interference pearl and, and no more pearl I'm drilling a recess um, and look at this beautiful um, resin came out of course this one I'm going to keep like I'm keeping most of the resin for for another project and now I'm going to start working on the outside on the shape of the bowl and I want to make it like a small like a Chinese dish uh, serving dish and I'm going to cut it slowly slowly till I'm going to see the resin on the outside When you hit when you hit the first line of resin, it's like hitting um, uh, a vein of gold when you dig for gold because now you know where you are, you know your uh, your line, and you can start working from there. The resin I replaced the the carbine uh, tip after a long time, and now it's cutting it. It's cutting this black line carbine tip that I replaced it cuts so nicely but it creates <laughs> strings and the whole place looked like Halloween pink Halloween uh, I think later I'll show you how it looks the late and everything but it was the pink Halloween or the women's day uh, feature
man it does cut so nice and it cuts in strings straight strings you can actually open them like for a long line and uh, it's so nice it's so beautiful hello the pink man and um, now what we're going to do we're going to finish the outside and preparing it for um, the next step By using the black line V-shape um, carbine tool in an angle with high speed, I'm reducing the amount of uh, sandpaper that I have to use. And now what I'm doing is I'm cr creating a small uh, recess, a very narrow recess, turning the lathe, um, the speed the other direction. And what I'm doing is I just give it a small uh, dovetail so it will hold better and three, three lines at the, at the bottom just for a feature. And now I'm going to sandpaper it from 120 all the way to uh, 600. And then after the 600, I'm going to do um, Yorkshire grid. And after the Yorkshire grid, I'm going to do uh, my favorite for, um, for the Paduk. Uh, I'm going to use Obishan juice. You will be able to see now already that the features that coming outside and the obishan juice it's more than enough uh, to show you that now i'm going to sorry now i'm going to burn a little bit Th those three lines i'm going to burn with a piece of formica and just for the feature for it and now you'll see there is like a white uh, mark on the on the on the base now you can see the white mark it's actually not a white mark i just put a new camera new a new light over there and the light reflection and with the with the obi shine juice and before that even with the um, uh, yorkshire grid the, the reflection the the smoothness is so high it's like a mirror so i'll have to remove it to a new position so it will not shine directly into the center uh, but you can see the features already uh, of the pine cones and we'll continue to the next one. Turning it around, um, I tighten it a little bit. I didn't tighten it too tight because I didn't want to damage the, I don't want to damage the recess with the dovetail in the back because I, I gave it a very narrow one very narrow one so uh, because the feature of the of the ball that I wanted to create and now I'm going to clean it up and give it the inside shape of the ball and leaving all the way to the end leaving the um, the support of the tailstock and if you look carefully in the middle you see there is a there is like a line a round line and that's a part of the feature that I told you that I'm doing with a when I done it with a cup um, when I turn it with a cup you um, the, when I hollow it inside at the, the beginning the the paduk and I left it with a with a cup then I, I told you that's why because now it's I'm creating like another um, ring of paduk in the middle and that's, by the way, how it looks like in, in one stage. Um, now you can see already the features, the way that I set up the, the pine cones to look like flowers and the ring in the middle that I told you before. Uh, 120 to 600, Yorkshire grid, and of course, uh, Obishan juice.
Now look in the middle, you'll see the ring and you'll see also the play of the pull, um, the different color pull in the center. And that's why I made this cup. Obi Shine Juice gives it a glassy shine. It, my wife said it looks actually on this one, it looks like real glass. My logo. What do you think? How beautiful it is. Uh, I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe and to give me a thumbs up or a thumb down. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you very much.